Hello everyone, Stazima here, back again with another episode of Quickfire. I am sorry for the brief hiatus I had to take on Quickfire and making videos, but it was just that very, very busy time of year that comes around every once in a while. Luckily, it's over now and I am back to the usual schedule. Thank you guys for sticking in with me. A lot of stuff going on to make it up for you. Got a pretty good gameplay and a lot of topics to talk about today, so here we go. First topic, why is 343 changing Halo so much? Well, 343 wants to definitely make a name for themselves and to regenerate, rejuvenate the Halo series that has been kind of the same for the past three games. Now, 343 definitely set out that with this new vision of Halo in mind, with Frank O'Connor taking them in a totally new direction of Halo, because they want to differentiate from what Bungie has done. Because Bungie has stayed in the same kind of realm, 343 wants to take that, take it, and make it completely different. Next topic, the Halo 4 enemy. A new enemy was shown recently on the back of a box. Now these two enemies, they looked kind of cartoony and strange. When I first saw them, they didn't really look like they belonged into a Halo kind of series. But in retrospect, they kind of look like, one looks like kind of a buffer, kind of like the engineer, and the other looks like a tigerish kind of guy. He looks like he's going to charge you at fast paces, stuff like that. They look like they'll be interesting to fight, at least, and this new class of enemy looks pretty strange. Next topic. Speaking of new enemy classes, apparently there's going to be some new enemies to replace elites in multiplayer. So in multiplayer to replace kind of like invasion mode and stuff like that, maybe you'll be able to play as a different enemy class. Now if you were, then it would have to become from these new kind of forerunner-ish people that you're going to be fighting in Halo 4. There's going to be some kind of like strange humanoid figures. I imagine that they'd be very glowy and intimidating looking from the past two enemies that we saw. Next topic, the Railgun was the recently announced. Now, it's pretty much going to play as a portable Gauss cannon, so I think it's going to be kind of one of those mid-range power weapons, kind of like the grenade launcher. It's going to kind of be like a grenade launcher, except more of like a Gauss cannon on the back of a Warthog. Not quite that strong, because obviously that would be extremely cheap. So expect it to be a little weaker than the Gauss cannon on the Warthog, but a little stronger than the grenade launcher. That's what I think. Next topic, E3 this year. Are we going to see some big Halo 4 news? I think that we probably will because Halo 4 is definitely Microsoft's big showing this year at E3 since they are not announcing the new Xbox console. So I'm, I'm expecting a full on-stage demo of the game as well as people being able to play the game at game stations and some really solid multiplayer details. A lot of stuff coming out of E3 for Halo 4 this year. I can definitely foresee that. Next topic, vehicles in Halo 4, are they going to be kind of like a human or an alien focused on them? Now since we're on this new planet and stuff like this, I think that the vehicles are probably going to be more alien, covenant, forerunner, stuff like that. They're not going to see a lot of human stuff around. Obviously there's going to be some human stuff in there somehow. They're going to work it in there, finagle it into there somehow. But definitely more of an alien and new kind of vehicle focus you're going to see in Halo 4 I think. The Forerunner Vision, some actualities have come out about it, and apparently it might be called Promethean Vision, which is a very strange name. But apparently it's very short range, kind of like I predicted. It's short range, only goes through very small ranges, and it can only be useful at very immediate and intense circumstances. So it's not totally game breaking like people have thought it would be, which I kind of I thought kind of thought three four three would know what they're doing with that, not making it another armor lock fiasco going on there. Speaking of armor abilities, is 343 taking the armor abilities in a totally new direction? The answer is, of course, yes they are. You can already see this already by the fact that they're not bringing back bubble shield or armor lock. So 343 is kind of taking out the armor abilities that were more physical and more, and replacing them with more passive armor abilities, kind of like um, hologram, invisibility, not too overpowering, but more passive armor abilities, not game breaking, not too strong. That's the most important thing. Next, unlocking system is coming to Halo 4, so basically you're not going to start out with a BR on your kit right away. You're going to have to get some kills or some experience to be able to unlock it. 
personally, I do not really like this system coming to Halo because of the fact that it makes these things less balanced because the newer players don't have the better weapons and the older players have the more experience, the more weapons, the more choice. So they're going to be able to dominate the newer players more. I don't really like that system too much. Next topic. The Halo 4 ranking system is going to still be experience based in a recent screenshot. There was a picture of a Halo 4 with some ranking experience in the background so that's not too surprising to me. I figured that that would come back especially with the new Spartan points system like that. I expect that we're going to see a increased commendation system like a more of a challenge system to be able to get more experience points. So experience coming back for Halo 4. But also interesting is that the skill system, Frank O'Connor recently said that the 1 to 50 skill system was definitely not returning for Halo 4 because he said it totally increased boosting, which is true, but I'm not sure that that is a valid argument for completely getting rid of the system because some people do enjoy it. I mean, if people are boosting the system, no matter what you do, people are going to boost for skill and any kind of skill system you have. People are always going to try to cheat the system. You're going to always have that. So there's one point where you have to stop and say, whatever. Next topic, Black Ops 2 is coming out. So how excited am I? Just to tell you how excited am I, I am probably the most excited guy on the planet for Black Ops 2. I mean, look at this thing. You got horses, giant mechanized things, near future warfare. It's going to look, look how it, it looks so new and real and good. Oh my gosh, it looks like the newest, most innovative game to ever come out on the consoles. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I mean, like mechanized horses and, and shooting people with guns. Never seen that before. Next topic, if I could invent a gun for Halo, what would I choose? Well, 343 has the blasting and blowing up people to bits part pretty down. So I would probably invent kind of like a defensive weapon, kind of like it shoots like bubble shields or like shields or something like that. Something that maybe it shoots like uh, flares from Halo 3, like blinds people. I wouldn't go with like a, a, a shooting exploding weapon. I would go more with like a passive defensive kind of specialized weapon. I think that would be pretty cool. Next topic is Halo 2 Anniversary right around the corner. I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a Halo 2 Anniversary on the 10th anniversary of Halo 2 because Microsoft is always looking to make a quick buck. They are a company, so a new. they wouldn't be surprising if they commissioned some kind of developer to remake the Halo 2, kind of like they commissioned 343 to remake Halo Anniversary. I really would not be surprised at all if we did see a remake of Halo 2 somehow integrated into like Halo 5 or Halo 4 or something like that. Next topic, what is my favorite maps throughout the Halo games? I'm going to list them off for you. My favorite map in Halo 1 was Hang'em High. My favorite map in Halo 2 was Zanzibar. My favorite map in Halo 3 was The Pit. And my favorite map in Halo Reach is, well, that's a tough question. If I had to choose, I might choose Zealot, but I don't really have a favorite map in Halo Reach because a lot of the maps in Halo Reach really are lacking severely in many, many ways. So I don't really have a favorite in Reach. Next topic, gore in video games. Is it a little too much? Sometimes I do think it is. Like in games of Gears of War, it is kind of necessary to get the grungy feel of the game. But in other cases, it doesn't really fit. Sometimes I feel like gore gives video games a bad rep. It gives violent video games a bad rep at least. And makes people look down on them because of the amount of excessive, possibly too much vulgar gore going all around. Puts a bad image in little children's heads. Can't have that going on. I mean, what is this? Next topic, 343 recently said in an interview with some Dutch gaming site that they want to continue making Halo for 20 more years. I think that that would be kind of ridiculous. At one point, you have to say, you have to put down the, the towel, throw in the towel and say, you know what? Halo is finished. We are happy with the Halo series. We are happy with the product. We don't want to keep it going for 30, 40, 50 years until I die. When I die, I don't want to see Halo still on the shelves. I really don't. Next topic and last topic, Minecraft on the Xbox 360 hit recently. I do think that the PC version is obviously better because you just can't beat the PC version. But the Xbox 360 version does have some triumphs in the multiplayer. The fact that the voice is integrated so cleanly into it is a lot more fun. And the fact that it has jump in, jump out, split screen, which is so easy for people to play on the same console. I think that that is a big triumph and a big success. If you haven't done it already, definitely check out Minecraft. Well, guys, that is all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have a topic that you would like to see, leave it in the comments below. That's all the time I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Adios.